is here with Chef Brian Ray at Judicon, and tell us what we're going to be making today. Uh, we're going to make our Peking duck today. Hello. Hello. Can I shake its hand? Of course. Hello. <laughs> so what's been done to him so far? Nothing. Nothing. This is how okay. we get it. This is a Long Island Peking duck. Okay. It is a Buddhist style, which means it's non-eviscerated, which okay. means it's intact. We're going to clean them up a little bit. In the process, these will just burn if you left them on. Okay. Then we're going to inflate it with an air compressor. Okay. The skin separates from the meat, so when it cooks, there's a like a, a barrier in between. Okay. So for that air and the fat to go through, it'll okay. get the skin extra crispy. So we do it. So you need that for the fat to render so that the skin crisps up? Exactly. Okay. So we use this. I'll hold on to it. All right. You push that button down. All right, just like that? Go for it. Wow. Wow. Okay, tell me when to stop. Let it go. You can Still go. going. Okay, you can shut okay. it off. Wow. <laughs> that dog just got much bigger. So at this point, we're gonna open her up. Take out all that. Because we're gonna marinate this now, and that's where the marinade's gonna go. We stuff it with the marinade. Okay. A uh, mixture of spices, sugar, white pepper, salt, five spice powder, ginger powder, dried tangerine peel powder. Wow. Oyster sauce, bean sauce, poison sauce. So you're gonna make like a thick paste with this. Spackle the whole inside, kind of. Okay. And does it only go on the inside, or does it go yep, on the outside as well? just on the inside. And then when you cook this, all this is gonna slowly melt and permeate into the meat. So you get those flavors all throughout. Charred scallions, charred ginger, okay. star anise. Yep, duck up. surgery. Wow, okay, one skewer just sews it together. So when they cook in the oven, they hang. So from here, we blanch it. Okay. It's basically water, some aromatics, ginger, star anise, but it's red Chinese vinegar okay. and maltose. Okay. It's a sugar, but it's not very sweet. Okay. But when the duck roasts, it's gonna caramelize and it's gonna okay. add to the crispiness and to the color. Okay. The red Chinese vinegar will help with the color. And it also like, it dries the skin okay. out. So both the vinegar and the maltose really help you get the skin that texture you want. Yep. This. So it's in there for just a minute? Yeah. Maybe three minutes All tops. Right. You don't want to cook anything. You want the skin to tighten up. Okay. You see how it's starting to be less wrinkled and sort of more taut? Absolutely. But the idea isn't to cook any of it. It's just to sort of Correct. get the skin where you want it. And we're going to hang it for 24 hours. 24 hours, okay. And you do that in the walk-in? Yep. And after 24 hours, you see it almost cures. Absolutely. It develops something called a pellicle. Pellicles makes it kind of a sticky exterior. Okay. When you hang this in the duck oven and all the smoke that develops in the duck oven, it would all adhere to the outside. So it looks so different. The texture of the skin's different. The Absolutely. color's different. Right. Uh, we're going to cook it in our duck oven about okay. 400 degrees for okay. about 45 minutes. Okay. This is the new one, yes. And what happened to the old one? Uh, it was a blazing inferno where I pulled the animal system and called the fire department. That sounds terrifying. It was terrifying. That's what we get. The color is so beautiful, sort of that caramel brown all the way through. Yeah, absolutely. It's almost like it's fried a little bit after it's roasted, after it hangs, <laughs> after it's blanched. And how long do you do this? Just until you see the skin start to change? Yeah. Okay. It depends on how hot your oil is. Okay. If your oil is really, really hot, a few bathes of this is fine. That smells so good. And when you talk about the crispy skin of a Peking duck, it's not typically the breast meat that you're going for. It's okay. this meat back here. Okay. There's less fat on it, and it tends to get crispier. Okay, so that'd be the legs around the wings. Yep, and I think we're good to go. Beautiful. Okay. So we've air blasted it, yes. we've blanched it, yes. we've hung it, yes. we roasted it, Yes. we sort of half fried, fried it in an oil bath. Yes. All right, what's next? And, uh, now we're going to eat it. We removed the skewer that we put in, so all that marinade and seasoning, Wow. that's Hello. what you get. So that's been in it the whole time. The you whole can time. smell it, it smells yeah. amazing. And now do we serve it with the head on or head off? Head off. Okay. <laughs> so like I said, this skin is really the skin you're gonna go for first. You can hear it as you cut it open, like you can hear it crackling. Yeah, it takes four people from receiving it in the morning. We have a butcher at night, he breaks it down, inflates it with the air compressor. Then during service, the meat station, they will cook the duck, and then the wok station, they will reheat the duck, the duck and okay. break it down. And then start to finish, it's a little over a day. Yeah, when we experienced the catastrophe, as I call it, the fire, we still had obviously picking duck on the menu. So. We have another restaurant, Morimoto, that's nearby. Okay. And so we would prep everything here, and during service, we would literally run over to Morimoto, put the ducks in the oven, cook them, an hour later, run back. Wow. Bring them back. I would have loved to see the guy running across the street with, yeah. with ducks. <laughs> yeah, he hated me. <laughs> Show must go on, right? Exactly. We typically sell 30 a night. You can sell as many as 50, but you can see how juicy it is. Absolutely. Oh, 
right, so when you're plating this, is it essentially a whole duck to a plate? It is. Okay. I bet those pieces disappear first. Yeah, exactly. The traditional accompaniments are cucumber scallion and hoisin sauce. Okay. And, and mushu then, pancake. Oh, beautiful. Take a pancake. They're warm. They are. You know, we have a low steamer. We just keep them in the steamer all night. Okay. And we get to order a keep duck. Keep some moist, keep some warm. Cheers. There we go. Cheers. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. The skin's definitely the best part. You know, you almost want one of these just with the skin. Yeah, and all the different textures, the brightness of the cucumber, mm -hmm. the Absolutely. richness of the hoisin. Yeah, it helps to have a little something fresh in there so you're not, you know, I'm just eating duck. Not bad. <laughs>